first customer of the day. And I got two more pocket knives. There's the other one out. Here it is. It's going to be a pocket knife kind of day, I guess. This is a cool knife right here. I thought it was cheapo, but it says Taylor Cutlery, Surgical Japan. Man, it scratched up really bad, you see. When I sharpened it, I can't get them deep scratches unless I regrind the whole thing. But it's a cool knife. And then this one is a Husky. It's a pocket knife kind of day. Market is just opening up right now. First customers are walking in. The seafood guy, a new manager, seafood guy, Russ, chicken egg guy. Same vendors are here all the time. I don't see any new ones. Fiskers, loafers, look at this baby. Big axe to keto. Well, the big old axe turned out nice. I don't know the whole story, so I'm just trying to not, uh, not buy into that, you know? That's not, that's not, that's not what I'm doing, it's like, you know, that toy Breslow fellow? Mm -hmm. I told you right off the get-go, I was just trying to, uh, the music, you know? He says, well, you handle the money. I don't think I've ever done this many pocket knives at this place pocket knife kind of day. I told you. Great balls of fire. The music man is getting ready. I'm on a, I'm on a break right now. No action. I got a lady just called me says she's going to bring me some knives. My setup is usual. A few knives to sell. Sharpener's over there, sharpener's over there. That's the best of it right there, I'm telling you. The new best. We have a lot of best, you know. Coffee guy. Vegetables, seafood, more vegetables. Chicken and eggs, more vegetables. Chicken and eggs. Wait a minute. Harvest neighborhood far harvest. Dog treats. Bowser. Spice guy. Menino's guy. I don't know who this is. This is a new outfit. What are they selling? I wonder. Something they're cooking over there. Real country sausage. Oh, yeah, new. How y'all doing? Okay. Shrimp. 
Not a pound. Right? Yep. Excuse me. What he's got here today. Doing a sauce tasting here today. We got our handmade cocktail sauce, pepper ranch, and lime caper. There you go. I'm okay right now. I just had a big damn sandwich. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> Music slop now. I got a whole set of nice saboteurs. You may not remember these, but I do them every year. Once a year, she brings them to me. I got a Heckle, Santuco, a Dexter fillet knife, and a little shun. Shun. <laughs> and then I got two Wolfgang Pucks, Santuco and a small Santuco. So it's picking up a little bit. So I, I can't stand very, very long, so, but we're getting there. Rancher, ranger. I have a river on the Uh-huh. And then, at 1135, I get these taquitos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Junkers. Ankles. China. Tupperware. Go ask the end. I'm almost done for the day. I've been cutting steel most of the morning. I got to feed these critters and the, and the carnivores. I got my truck in the garage ready to go for tomorrow. I left everything right inside of it. She's ready to roll. Back around and take off. I got eight more passes, nine more passes to go. I'll be done. A shower. A recliner. That's four. That's five days. Let's grow that much in five days. Chris likes the grass cut on a high setting on the lawnmower. Which is nice, it makes it pretty and tall, but you have to cut it a lot when it's any kind of rain. It rains, like I said, this is only five days old here now. I get lots of exercise cutting grass. The boys are hollering, listen, can you hear them? Dottie's looking at the window. Is there? <laughs> I had to water the plants. I'm gonna scare the cat. Well, I'm, I might take them for a walk, let the lawnmower cool off. And then I have to come up with some kind of grub. Let's see how it goes. Clean. Huh? Does that mean you guys are ready to go? 
play ball. Now right, we're going just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. I got something I want to share with my fellow people. I forgot the, the uh, postal guy came. I got stuff in here, stuff in here, and stuff in there. It's all sharpening stuff. I think in this box, some ceramic belts and some uh, felt belts. Not felt. What do you call that stuff? Uh, God damn. Yeah, felt. Felt. Felt belts. And this one, this is uh, uh, some more belts. And this box is some super duper, super duper sisal grit compound that you put on that real stiff sisal wheel that I got for cleaning up the knives initially. This is some specialized, formulated strictly for sisal wheels. Direct from Formax. I talked to Formax directly, and the guy said, this is what you got to have. You can only buy from, I won't say only, but he said he suggested I buy it from Caswell. Caswell Plating. I buy uh, some sister wheels from them, and I bought some wheels from them and some buffing stuff. I bought a lot of those shaft extenders, if you remember, when I first started with my little old Sears variable speed buffer, or belt grinder. Bench grinder, I mean, I put them extensions on it. Well, Caswell sells all that kind of stuff. Hold on a minute, let's get into this stuff and I'll show you. I bought two six inch sisal wheels since my I used my last one the other day. These are just spares. Now, this is the stuff that's formulated for sisal wheels. 6154 is the last number. You see, it's a big gray bar. Caswell calls it Super Sissel Bar Compound. F15, F515-6154. Super Sissel Bar Compound. The best. So they tell me. I've been using the one under this one, which is, as far as I was concerned, it was great. But this guy said this stuff right here on a Sissel wheel is the real deal. It'll be 500 years of using that bar. But that's the only size it comes in. And I forgot how much it was. 19 or 20 bucks, I think. Next up is uh, Klingspore. I buy a lot of stuff from Klingspore. They're in uh, North Carolina. Hickory, North Carolina, I think. I bought, what did I buy? I buy my leather belts from them. Leather belts are made by Super uh, Sergi Sharp. There's a sub, several other people sell them, but I've never found any that could hold up as well as the Sergi Sharp ones. One by forty-two. They're thicker, you see. Some of them are not as thick, and I use them rough side out on most applications. And these are just belts. What have I got here? I got 100 grit. I got 36 grit, 100 grit, and 120 grit. 976 for four, nine dollars for four, and nine dollars for four. Makes them 225 a piece and 244 a piece. Last but not least is my favorite supplier, my vendor, Super Grit. About 99% of stuff I buy from them, they're the only ones, well not the only ones, only one or two that I've dealt with that carry the felt belts. The ceramic 36 grit and the 60 ceramic grits I've never used. I wanted to try them. I use the 36 a lot on axes and hatchets and, you know, really hardcore lawnmower blades and stuff. $2.75 for the ceramics, uh, the felt belts are $8.50. I don't know what the leather belts are. I think they're around uh, 30, 1995 each. Here we have 36 grit, 
60 grit and 120 grit. The felt, felt belts are sort of like leather belts. You use them in the same way. You just put a compound on them. Certain kind of knives, I like the felt belts. I've tried it with diamond paste. I've tried it with all kinds of other paste. I still go back to the Hone Green 4 Max 12660. 4 Max makes nice stuff for this kind of industry. That's it. That's all my little tickets I got today. Now I got to feed the critters. And this critter. Cat food. I stuck it out of the refrigerator a minute ago. So it can be warming up a little bit. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you tomorrow at Tractor Supply. Another nice day. My old man said he was going to try to get up with the guru and go to the land of Nada. But I haven't heard from him, so I don't know that he went or not. We'll have to wait and see on that.